Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Girl China. This is China, and I'm coming to you today with a large Dollar Tree haul. As always, I'm gonna try my very best. For those of you who do not like like really long hauls, my hauls tend to go about like 30, 40 minutes, somewhere in between. I always try really, really hard to keep it under um, that time frame, but um, yeah, it never happens. Um, I think it's because I, you know, when I go to the Dollar Tree and I go several times a week, I buy like a lot of stuff and you know, I'll go and spend $100 one day and then $80 the next day, maybe $50 the next day. So I have all this stuff and I'm like really excited to show it to you all. And so I can't make up my mind and I wind up picking a lot of stuff um, per haul rather than just a few items. And that's what makes the hauls long. So um, let me dive right in. Now, for those of you who entered the Save the Bees contest for the tote bag i'm going to be drawing for that today and i have another drawing that i'm going to be um, doing today because there's a lot of other um subscribers that were looking for another particular particular item that they were unable to find that i showed in one of my hauls and um they uh, expressed that they really liked it i found it again and so i'm going to be uh, doing a drawing for that but i'll announce at the end of the video so let's go ahead and jump in um, in no particular order. I did try to organize it, so we'll try to keep it as organized as possible. First things up, I picked up this um, ceramic, um, and it's very like a shiny um, camera. And what I liked, this is home decor. Now do be very careful when you guys pick this camera up. Most of them were broken um, or had some kind of damage to it. This one even has a little bit of minor damage here in the back. I don't know if you can see it like right there. Um, but if you have a friend that's a photographer or you have a, um, uh, you know, whether it's just a hobby or um, maybe that is their profession or you're just looking for something interesting to put in your bookshelf, I think this is a cute item to stack on top of a couple of books and um, we'll just add you know, a point of interest. And because it's white, it's neutral. Now, if you don't like the white color, you can certainly paint it. Um, they had another design, but I didn't like the other design. It was also a camera. It was the same size. It's just the, the design was different and I did not like it or I didn't care for it. So I thought this was cute and so I went ahead and picked it up. And I think it's a really good deal for a dollar. You certainly could find this at like a Hobby Lobby or something similar at um, maybe even, um, I would say like at home, formerly Garden Ridge, um, but it's not gonna cost you a dollar. And uh, again, it's just a really, really good price point. And so I picked it up. Okay, now let's uh, dive into, um, this was a wish list item. For those of you who've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I um, am deeply, deeply, deeply love my brother, um, Elijah, that is his name um and he is autistic and i've shared that with you guys and he is in a group home so i don't get to see him as often as i would like um but he loves he happens to love peppa pig and i share that with you guys because there's a lot of you out there who may have um an autistic member of your family um and so that you know we can identify with one another there's different types of autism um but that's something that's touched my life and um it was a very difficult choice for my parents to put him in a group home but as they were aging and um, grouped up with other stuff that he has with his autism um, he became unmanageable um and so even with medication um you know so we had to i, I know that it was something that um is in his best interest he's thrived in the group home um but it was something that was very heartbreaking to my parents. They took years to come to that decision and they visit him every weekend and they're, they take him out sometimes for days. And I guess I'm going on a tangent here, but um, let me uh, get back to what I was trying to talk about. I guess I'm just trying to express myself in terms of why I, you'll hear me mention him a lot um, because I don't get to see him as often as I would like. Um, but he happens to love Peppa Pig. He is 
I was, let's see, I was seven when he was born. Um, so he's 30. Three, he's 33 and he loves him some Peppa Pig. Well, I saw other haulers haul the, these items. I do not know the character. I, I know Peppa Pig. I've seen like a couple of seconds of it here and there when he would be watching it. I know that I'm missing the dad, but I don't know who these are or which one is Peppa Pig and they're not labeled. All it says is official Peppa Pig merchandise. This is coming out of the Greenbrier, um, I guess they're um, warehouses, but I don't know which one she is. I think she's this one, the one with the little blue outfit. And I just love their cute little British accents. Um, I think they're adorable, but I'm pretty sure I'm missing, or maybe she's, I don't know. Maybe that's the mom, I don't, I don't know. I know the dad, because I think the dad has like a mustache. And so I'm missing the dad, but I'm gonna send these um, through my parents so that they, they can give these to my brother. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I found these, so I was super happy about that. So if you have a child that loves Peppa Pig or you're putting together, you know, like a little a birthday present or you set aside items for Toys for Tots, um, you start your stocking stuffers, your Christmas purchasing early, um, they have a lot of Peppa Pig stuff. They have coloring books, they have little craft sets, they have puzzles, and now you see that they have the little dolls. Um, I think they're adorable, um, and again, with the cute little accents. So um, I bought these. I also bought purchased a separate set to donate to MD Anderson. So let me start at the beginning, and I'll go ahead and knock it out. Um, I am collecting items. Um, a lot of the items that I purchase, I do not keep. I either give it away to friends and family, but there are certain items that I specifically buy to do, not only show to you guys, but to donate to the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center because um, that is a, um, a hospital that is near and dear to my heart. I lost my husband to cancer. I spent a lot of time um, in that hospital. And um, so I have decided that that's a charity that I wanna be involved in. It's not really a charity, but you're raising money for research. It is a research hospital, it's a teaching hospital, and it is the number one cancer center in the entire world and in the US, and it is here in Houston. So um, that's why you'll see me wear this bracelet, um, because I do participate in the walks and I try to raise money. I'm not doing this to blow myself up. I'm doing this to um, raise awareness because I'm sure that there are many of you, if not all of you, have been affected by cancer in one way or another, whether it was you personally or someone that you love. I have three people, um, my husband and two of my grandparents that lives were lost because of this disease. And so it means a lot to me to collect and donate and um, try to make whatever I can, the experience of being there taking treatment, um, just a little bit more bearable and not a little bit more ple pleasant. Um, obviously it's very difficult to go through. Um, I've seen it. Um, I haven't experienced it myself, but I've watched it with my own eyes and, and that's why I do it. And I don't wanna get too deep into it because I feel like I'm gonna, tear up so we're just gonna you know change the subject but if i say i'm donating something that's where it's going okay guys all right so i found these because um as i've been in communication with md anderson and the people that coordinate the donations um they told me that right now they're not accepting donations for adults due to covid but they are for children because children do not react as strongly to covid as adults do so and they said don't forget teenagers because they're um, wanting stuff too. So I'm trying to pick up stuff for teenagers. So something, if you have a teenager in your life um, or you're a teenager watching this, um, they have a lot of cool, um, you know, phone accessories. So this is compatible with most audio devices. It's lightweight, it's comfortable. They're earbuds and they are donuts. And I found this in the section where all their phone accessories are. It is a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is standard size and again it has a little donuts with the sprinkles so this is going to be donated i also picked up these earbuds that have um same specs they have a cupcakes on them i thought they were super cute 
um, would be great for a teenager or a tween or even a kid. Um, if you know they want to listen to music, they want to watch their videos on their phones. Um, this is a Type C USB cable, 2.1 amp, and it is a pineapple. And pineapple, of course, being the happy fruits and the bright yellow, vibrant colors. And again, it being a Type C, they do have other types as well. Um, so if you don't, your phone doesn't use a Type C, they have all different kinds. But I picked this up, and this is going to be donated. Okay, another item that I found were these kitchen play sets. It's called a Kitchen Cuisine Cooking Fun. And not only do they have these little chef hats available, I've seen them hauled. I have never found them. Um, I guess I was late to the party. I've never been able to find them. But you get all these little, you know, you got your spoons and your spatulas and even a mashed potato masher. Can you guys see that? I hope that you can in the netting. Um, and you got your little pot um, and pan set. I thought this was so cute. It doesn't say how many pieces it comes with. One, two, three four five six it even comes with the lids for the um skillets i thought this was very adorable you know we like playing uh, kitchen i always like playing kitchen um and with my little ponies and godzilla my mom liked barbie so she always bought me barbies but i never wanted to play with barbies literally at all it was my little pony godzilla and kitchen play sets i always wanted like the little shopping cart with the little fake food but no, I was always given Barbies. I guess because my mom likes Barbies. Um, but anywho, they all, it also came in red. So if you don't like the pink, it came in red. And I think this is a really cute little item for the kiddos. Um, great for, you know, again, birthday parties. You're stocking up for stocking stuffers for Christmas. Um, you can just throw one of these in. And they also sell fake food, which I will show you in a later video. I'm not going to show that today. All right, another item that I found. Now this is great for uh, to take out all that aggression, all that built up aggression that you may have, or if you have a lot of energy. It is a Ninja inflatable bop bag. And basically it contains one bop bag. Um, they do sell like a pump um, at Dollar Tree where the party section is at, where the balloons are at. If you need um, help inflating it, or if you have, you know, like a bicycle pump, you can inflate it. But as you can see, it's a Ninja and the kid is punching it. So it's like a punching bag. And so if you have a kiddo that has a lot of energy or maybe they're working out, you know, like dad, they see dad working out, they see mom working out and they kind of want to mimic that behavior or you want to introduce, um, you know, exercise into their lives. You want to, you know, build up upper body strength. Um, this would be a really cute little thing to buy. And the cool thing about this is when you punch it and it falls down, it pops right back up. And at a dollar, a really great deal. You can also throw this into a pool um, because, you know, since it's full of air um, and, you know, you seal it up, I'm sure it would float and it could be, you know, like a little, a little floaty thing to play with in the pool. But um, the best use would be, you know, to knock the, the shit out of it and have a really good time. Especially if you've had a bad day at work and you couldn't, you know, you wanted to curse out that one person, but you need money to pay your bills and you need your job. So you can come and take your anger out on that little, um, that little punching bag there. Okay, now this is, I think, a super cool idea. Let's say you do a glow in the dark party. Um, maybe you're barbecuing, it's leading into the night. You have friends over at the pool. They sell glow in the dark beach balls. And the cool thing about this is when this runs out, they sell these at Dollar Tree and you can just pop a new one in and replace it. So it is reusable. Um, it would be so much fun to play sand volleyball. Maybe you go to the beach, it's dark out there. You set up your net and you play sand volleyball in the dark. I think that would be so much fun. So I found it in a yellow. It does come in a variety of colors. I picked it up in yellow. I also found this, which is a glow flying disc or another word would be a Frisbee. It's a Frisbee. And the same thing, they sell these little glow sticks, um, which you can buy in packages at Dollar Tree. So when the glowing part runs out, you can replace this. Therefore, this is reusable. And the same thing, if you're at the beach and you wanna um, you know, play Frisbee at the beach, 
or in your backyard, you're having a barbecue, you guys are hanging out, you're doing a glow in the dark party. What we used to do with Frisbees is, um, you know, the empty like Coke bottles or soda bottles, um, we would collect them and then you could put a couple of little beans in there, you know, so they'll stand up or you could put one of those uh, glow-in-the-dark sticks in there and then you could line them up and uh, you take turns using the frisbee to knock them down and you can make a game of it. Um, so that's just a thought for you guys. And at a dollar, you can have so much fun with your family. You don't have to spend a lot of money to have fun. Um, I thought these were adorable. They also had that horseshoe um, game where there's like a little... Um, thing that you post into the um, ground and you ring horseshoes on it. There's a name for that game. I, I can't think of it, but they had that and it was glow in the dark as well, just in case you guys are interested. Okay. So another thing I was thinking of, and um, this has to do with, you know, the outside were these balloons. So these are called four yard balloon sticks. And as you can see in the photo, you use them to stick your balloons in the ground and to keep them upright. So these can be used, obviously, baby showers, birthday parties. But what about if you do yard sales or garage sales and you want to draw attention to your yard sale? How cool would it be? Um, because I participated in these um, with family members. Um, there's I have family members that actively love to do garage sales. They live for this. And you're out there for only a few hours and you make three, four hundred dollars and you're getting rid of junk you don't even want anymore. Um, but what do they say? One man's trash is another man's treasure. But you want to be like the the garage um, or the home or the yard that draws all the attention and gets all the passerbys. So a great way to do that is to use these with these, um, coupled with these, these are 14 latex balloons, um, and you can use them to draw attention to your yard sale. And they do sell garage sale signs there as well. So you can couple all that stuff together, and that way you can have more um, traffic to your um, home versus the other rival homes. Um, our subdivision does like, on occasion, they'll do a community yard sale, and they'll um, uh, post it to the masses, and then they'll ask if you wanna participate. They'll create a map, and they'll let the people know, hey, um, these are the houses that are participating, and um, so that way your house stands out. You may wanna try that. Okay, an item I picked up for my home were these. Um, normally, we just buy trash bags at the grocery store. I don't normally pick these up at the Dollar Tree, but I happen to see that they're a name brand, which is Glad. They also have, uh, what is it called, Clorox. How Clorox ties into this, I'm not sure, but it says that it resists bacterial odors and that it's lemon fresh bleach scent. And so obviously no one likes to smell of trash. You're getting only five here. They are a kitchen, uh, uh, basically 13 gallons, so a kitchen um, trash can size. And so I went ahead and picked it up because I wanted to test it out um, because of the lemon scent primarily. Okay, another item that I picked up, I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is something they put out every year. Um, they just happen to change the design for this year. Of course, you get that very famous truck, um, USA. So if you're gonna be doing a Memorial Day or a 4th of July, well in this case it does say 4th of July on here. Uh, 4th of July, so that's specific. Um, you're going to be doing a cookout um, or you're just going to be doing something inside your home to celebrate the 4th of July. I think these are really adorable. Now, they're not very thick, um, so you know you do have to put them on a plate or a platter, um, but they're basically for hot dogs. You can put corn dogs on here. You can also even put like little um, chicken, what are those chicken tender fries, chicken fries, and the little um, disposable cups where you can put dip or you can put like carrot or um, celery and a little cup with peanut butter or ranch. So it doesn't have to be a hot dog. You can use it for other items um, in lieu of the hot dog if you don't wanna do hot dogs. Um, so that's an item that I picked up and just something for you guys to keep in mind if you're not gonna be doing hot dogs and you want an alternative. Okay, I do not own a cat, but my son does have a cat and he is 
like the most perfect, the perfect temperament, perfect personality. He doesn't scratch, doesn't claw. He's just, he's, a, I'm not even a really big fan of cats. Um, I have a dog. Um, I don't hate cats. I'm just, you know, like I'm a dog person. Um, but his cat is like perfect. I just, I love his cat. His name is Marvin. And um, I saw this and I went ahead and picked it up. Now I like it because it's doubled and they're stuck together. It's pretty sturdy. It comes in a variety of colors. I picked it up in black because my son's um, apartment is, um, you know, it's the way that it's decorated. I think that's the color he would go with. They also have like pink and blue and teal um, and I think purple, but I don't believe he would like those colors. Um, his apartment's a little bit too sleek for that. So I picked up these so you can get your water on one side and your cat's food on the other side. They also have this for small dogs, but in lieu of it being two little cat heads, it's like a bone. So one bone is on this end for the water and the other end of the bone um, would be the food part. Um, but I thought this was really cute and at a dollar, um, a great deal for a pet bowl. Okay, also found these flower sack towels. Life is sweet and we have the watermelon print. Very vibrant, super cute. Um, I love the little design here. It kind of gives me like 80s vibes, these little triangles and little uh, W looking deals here. This, I, it feels 80s to me, but um, up here really cute if you want it decorate your kitchen for the summer really pretty and um, they also had it with polka dots and this one says less monday more summer um you can still have summer on mondays believe it or not um and it has this really cute um pineapple with the sunglasses so he's lo looking super cool and his little crown there and the back is gonna be the polka dots. And again, these are flower sack towels. They are 100% cotton. So if you're looking for some new, bright, vibrant towels for your kitchen for the summer, um, definitely check out your Dollar Tree. Okay, another item that I found that I really, really was digging, these are so cool, are these food trays. I don't know if they put these out before, but again, if you're doing, um, you know, outdoor cookouts these are perfect because people can line up um, to dad or whoever's grilling and then they can put their plate here and it comes with the um the plastic wear and you even have a space for the drink and you can just carry off your food so i bought it in red i also bought it in blue um, i'm gonna give these and send these off to my brother i think it's something that he would enjoy um, but if you could do it even just to, for your kids at home, you know, kids like stuff like that, you know, they can carry it. And if you have like, what are they called? Like an area, um, maybe they can watch TV or watch a movie and they could take their little, their little pizza and their little, you know, carrots or whatever. And they can sit in front of the TV. And if you have those little TV trays, um, or you can also use them, um, you know, for birthday parties and stuff like that. I was thinking 4th of July um, when I saw these, but you don't have to use it just for those occasions. They can be used day to day, especially if you're homeschooling. It kind of gives you that vibe of being in school um, or uh, pretending that you're at Luby's or something, um, you know, because you have to carry the little tray. Now, it also came in like a magenta, fuchsia pink kind of color and teal, but I preferred these two colors um thinking of like the holidays and that's why i picked it up in those colors all right guys i'm gonna move some more stuff into the shot i'll be right back okay guys and i'm back okay with dad's day coming up um if you have a father who loves golf or maybe it's just um he's a person that likes biographies i found this book on arnold palmer Arnold Palmer is not just a drink, guys. He was actually a very famous golf uh, player. And so I found this book called Arnie. It says The Life of Arnold Palmer by Tom Callahan. And um, let's give you a little bit of background here. Advanced praise for Arnie. Before I played in a Masters or US Open, I played golf with Tom Callahan in Pretoria. So we go back a ways. In my first American major, I was paired with Arnold Palmer. Now Tom and Arnold are paired forever. 
Um, Tom knows the game of golf as well as anyone in the business. A lot of years, not just a lot of nights went into this. Um, and I guess it's about maybe their friendship and he's giving you um, a background about Arnold Palmer. So if dad loves golf or dad loves, um, you know, biographies, um, this would be a really great gift to give to dad. Um, and you know, dad's day is literally around the corner. Let me see if I can give you the original price without uh, making a mess here. The sticker doesn't want to come off very easily. Um, I did all that and it doesn't have the price on it. Oh my God, that's crazy. Is it in here? Okay, it's $27.99 because I peeled it off and there's no price on there. I should have checked in here first. $27.99, this is a $30 book for a dollar. So yeah, you guys, um, wonderful gift. Especially, maybe you're planning to buy dad some golf clubs or some golf related items, some clothes or something. You can pair it up with this dollar book and you'll have the perfect gift for dad. Okay, um, another um, book that I picked up was this one, which I found really interesting. I am such a nerd, guys. I, I like art, um, I like history, I like science. These are uh, subjects that are so fascinating to me. And so this uh, book is called The Spanish Queen, a novel of Henry VIII and Catherine of Aragon, um, or Aragon. Um, so basically it says, uh, I reread the final pages as hungry for more as a child scraping the last crumbs of chocolate cake off her plate with her fingers. The New York Times book review on the hidden diary of Mary Antoinette. Suspenseful and detailed, um, the daughter captures a dramatic moment in history and will sear you with sorrow for this doomed daughter of the last czar. People Magazine, Jane Seymour gets her due in the quirky, the favored queen. In a court of ceaseless intrigue, flamboyant characters and ruthless self-advancement, small plain Jane has a strong moral code and a watching intelligence, USA Today. So this is the book. So if you have people that are interested in the Tudors, um, you know, Henry VIII, that history, that family line, um, I think this would make for a great read. Also a great uh, gift if you have a friend that's a lover of history or is a lover of that particular history. Okay, another one that I found, and now this is from Barnes and Nobles. This is an exclusive edition. So it's exclusively made for Barnes and Nobles and I found it, Barnes and Noble, sorry. I found it at the Dollar Tree, a wintry adventure where you decide the story. Now you have, you can hang on to this um, book until like uh, winter, the winter season, um, but it's really hot outside and I like to pretend that it's cold. So it says, pick your path, Jack Frost versus the abominable snowman. You decide how the story unfolds. Um, welcome dear friend to this magical place. We've been waiting for you and we're ready to race. It's Jack or it's Abe, who do you think will win? Get ready, get set, the adventure begins. And so here is the book. So apparently you determine the ending of the book. If I can have these pages flip for me. Um, and it's a Barnes and Noble exclusive. I'm sure this book was probably like way, way more. I'm not gonna attempt the sticker thing anymore. It's $17.99. I got it for a dollar. Would make a great gift, great donation. Um, that's gonna be going, the books that I purchased are gonna be going to um, MD Anderson. Also found this one for those who like adult coloring. These are also perfect for tweens and teens or any lovers of coloring. It says color the season. And I love how she's, it's got a fall look and she's got her mug and she's got her little beanie here. Um, I wish it were that time of the year. I'm not a big fan of heat. Um, I do like being outside surprisingly out of a sudden. Um, because we've been going to this national forest. Look at those beautiful pictures. Um, great pictures to color. And they're not double-sided, so you know you can save it and frame it. Um, they've just got a lot of gorgeous pictures. Here's some air balloons. So this is gonna be donated or again, stocking stuff for his birthday gifts. Um, great donations for um, kids of all ages, inclusive of adults. Okay, another item that I tell you that I collect 
um, our notebooks and journals and stuff for those that are staying at MD Anderson. But you can also buy them for to, to donate for people that need um, help, you know, buying school supplies or also, you know, if you you like notebooks, uh, you have kids that are going to school, you're preparing for next year, um, now will be the time to pick them up. I found these because they are so, and I picked them up because they're so beautiful. And remember, I wanted to buy more boy stuff because I tended, I was tending to buy girl stuff and I have to remember that there are, of course, boy patients there as well. So this is great for all age groups. You go younger kids up to teenagers um, and people that are um, early or young adults. So I found this pattern, which is the shark pattern. Um, and it is, um, does it say whether it's wide rule, college rule? It just says it's a spiral notebook, 70 sheets. And so I picked it up. The pages are lined. Also picked up this one that has muscle cars on there. So if you have a lover of cars, it looks like it's wide rolled. Um, again, um, this one also says 70 sheets. The brand is Jot. Found this one with the alien face on it. I thought this one was kind of funny. Um, 70 sheets as well, pages are lined. And I found this one with the, um, the striping, beautiful colors, love the color scheme love the alternating striping and again it's jot and it is 70 pages so i bought these to donate but again if you want to get ahead of the game and start buying for the school year or maybe your kids like to journal they like to write even during the summer or you keep them active during the summer so they don't lose their skills um, during you know the summer break from what they learned during the school year this would be a great buy and I, just the patterns just so beautiful now my favorite is the shark pattern and I don't know if you know this but I was watching a, um, a documentary about great white sharks or about sharks in general and it was saying do you ever notice that you've never gone to a place that has sea life like for instance SeaWorld um in aquariums and you've never seen a great white shark and um, the reason is that for some reason when great white sharks are put into aquariums they stop eating and they die um they did do more explaining on the subject um, because i was like yeah that is true you've never seen a great white you see other kind of sharks hammerheads and makos and nurse sharks but you never see great whites and i was wondering uh, why that was um but i learned about it in the um the documentary about sharks so it may be something if you're interested in or your your family members are interested in you know um you know sea life um or interested in sharks you can certainly look that information up and then they can go into the details as to why they believe the um, great white sharks do this why they stop eating and why they cannot be placed in aquariums even large aquariums um, but that's just a, a fact in case you guys are interest, interested in um, great white sharks because I um, find them very fascinating um, I actually love them but so do so does Shamu. Shamu kills too. Um, you know, and so do we. We you know, but that's it's so what is it called? The food chain. It's just the food chain, guys. Okay, another item. You know, you I know I can't go through a haul without showing you super cool socks. So I found these and I love what is to me like a Santa Fe print. Gorgeous. I love the color scheme, the heather gray. I think they did a great, excellent choice on picking these colors here. Sizes 10 to, to 13 for women's. This is unusual because you don't tend to see these sizes for women at um, the Dollar Tree. So I think they've heard us, um, those who have been raising concerns about the sock sizes for women being limited five to nine, and they're starting to introduce more um, sizing. And so the back is polka dotted. These are gonna be donated. Um, these are men's socks, can also be women's sizes 6 to 12, and they have lemons, um, no, I'm sorry, limes on there. They have limes on there. I thought they were super cool. Um, it reminded me of, like, uh, what is it? Is it Jose Cuervo where you put the, which is a drink where you put the lime on there? Um, anyway, I thought it was super cute, um, and I went ahead and picked several of these up. These are going to be donated as well. Um, these are adorable, brace yourself, 
you corgi lovers out there these are for uh children they're children's socks and they have corgis on there they're so cute so these are sizes five to nine for kids um the back pair of socks you're actually getting three pairs so you're getting this striped sock which is kind of like a teal mint kind of color um then this solid one with the gray heel and the orange uh, top and then of course the um the adorable corgi sock so adorable so three socks for a dollar these suckers are going to get donated um i also found um this beautiful head scarf it's an infinity scarf um it's very patriotic in its colors but can be worn year round because it's very lightweight you can use it for crafting or other things not just for a scarf you can also use it in your hair or to tie it around tote bags and purses um and i found these which are also great for Father's Day, sizes 6 to 12 men's socks by their new in-house brand, Juncture, and their beer mugs. And this reminds me of Moe's uh, Tavern on The Simpsons. I think of, um, what is his name? The one that's always drunk. Okay, I don't remember his name, but he's Homer's Barney? I, I don't know, but he's, he's the guy that's always drunk and he's on The Simpsons and he's always at Moe's Tavern and he's a friend of Homer Simpson. I thought of him when I saw these socks. They're adorable and they would be great for like a, for a dad's day throwing gift. Okay, also picked up these. These suckers are strong, y'all. So if you have not come across these and you do, um, if you like the scent of bubble gum, this, I could smell it all the way over here. Yep, and it smells identical to bubble gum. So this is a Mentos um, air freshener for the car. But you can also use these in the rooms, like your bedroom, because they are that strong. You know, maybe hanging near an air AC vent, um, your whole room will smell like bubble gum. So I bought bubble gum, and I also bought um, cherry. It came in cherry. Yep, and it's definitely a cherry smell. Um, it smells really great, and it also came in mint like mint like double mint i thought that was kind of unusual choice for a car scent but if you like mint you like the smell of mint they do have that as well but you may want to pick these up and they're great gifts um especially for like if you have a teen that they're getting their first um you know their driver's license or getting their first car you could put a little gift together and maybe throw that in with your gift okay we're coming down to the final items I found these pinwheel pens. I think they're super adorable. They're an iridescent and um, I believe they work. Yeah, they do look. So they spin around. The, um, the base of the pen is also iridescent and it does come with a little cap and it writes in black. So this one is blue. As you can see, it's got like a little blue here. And then this one is pink. You see here is pink. And then I found it in yellow. These I'm going to donate to MD Anderson because if you have journals, you have notebooks, you need something to write with in them. And so I picked up these because I find these pens very unique and super adorable. Also great throw-ins as gifts. I think that would make a really cute gift set. You buy a super adorable journal, super cute pen, and you put it in a really cute um, bag. And I think it would make for a great gift. Okay, also picked up these um greeting cards they are uh heartline collection hallmark company two for a dollar guys 50 cents each for hallmark cards and this one says holy carp it's your birthday and hope it's a bass load of fun and that's like a dad joke but bump bump Shh. anyway so i think this is cute and um it could also be like a money card because it's very long you can put money i don't know if people still put cash in cards I think now it's gift cards nowadays. Um, comes with this yellow envelope. And then this one was just adorable because of the turtles. Thought for the day, most smiles are started by another smile. That's the outside. And the inside says, is it working? Look how cute that is with the little turtles. Oh my God, I thought this is so cute. And then it says, is it working? Oh, so adorable. And I got your envelope. And again, this is a Hallmark. Also picked up some stickers. These are going to be donated 15 piece pop-ups and they are unicorn in theme. Really cute. Look at that floaty. It's a unicorn, um, rainbow donuts, 
but primarily unicorns. And you know how much a lot of people love unicorns. You're getting 15 stickers for a dollar. And the very last item that I'm gonna haul is this Iron On Art by Crafter Square. So basically you can iron it onto different fabrics. And here it shows you a tote bag or a t-shirt. I'm planning to buy a t-shirt and planning to iron it on on the shoulder part here, right across here. And I'll let you guys know how it turns out. It does come with the instructions. They also had tigers and other patterns, I believe a butterfly, but I liked this feather one. So I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you guys know how it works out. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys on pause. I'm gonna bring in the um, beehive bag and then we will do the drawing. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, and I'm back. Okay, so this is the bag that we're drawing for. Um, I'm going to draw names today or a name today because I have one. I was only able to find one. And um, if you're a winner, then I will um, need to hear from you by Friday the 14th um, or so by the end of this week. And then I will mail it out on Saturday. If I don't hear from you, then I'll do another video and we will redraw. So, and that's how that works. We have five people that... Um, participated in this particular contest. So I'm assuming some of you guys uh, weren't a fan of the bag, already got the bag, um, or I don't know, you, you just weren't interested in the bag, but that's okay, to each his own. All right, so we're scrambling around, let's do it over here. So you'll know that it's fair and square and that we're not cheating. All right, so I got the name here in my hand. Let's see who won. I have, I, this is how I think it's pronounced, Shelly Bean 0901 congratulations. You are the winner of the um, Beehive bag. So please contact me via my email. It's gonna be in the description box below. So Shelly Bean, Shelly Bean 0901 congratulations, you are the winner. Um, please contact me by Friday so I can uh, ship it out to you on Saturday and then you should be getting it the following week. Um, for everyone else that participated, thank you very much. I'm going to keep your names in here just in case I do not hear from Shell Bean or Shelly Bean. I think it's Shelly Bean and that's a really cute name. Okay. So now announcing the other drawing that I'm going to be doing. I had a lot of, of these subscribers um, tell me that they really liked this bandana, the one with the roses. I found another one. So for you guys um, that are interested in this bandana, um, all you need to do is um, put uh, the word or put, you can either put a rose in the comment section or you can write the word rose in the comment section of this video i will be drawing for this um let's see today is tuesday um i'll do a video um i'll do a video on either thursday or friday and then um no let, let me set a, a specific date i'll do a drawing on friday and um if, or no, I'll do a video on Friday and then I'll announce, uh, I'll uh, do a drawing for it. So you have until um, Thursday of this week to write the word rose or put a rose emoji in the comment section of this video. If I draw your name, then I will send this out to you. Um, again, you have until Thursday of this week. That's going to be Thursday the 13th. Okay, so not that long. But um, hopefully you guys can get in into this drawing and get this really pretty bandana. Really pretty can make pillows out of it um, or um, use it in your hair or do whatever you want with it. Thank you for watching. Love you guys as always. I appreciate you stopping by to um, check out my video. Um, if you haven't subscribed and are enjoying my content, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I read all your comments and I always try to reply as quickly as possible. Um, again, much love. Hope to catch you at the Dollar Tree. Bye, guys.